Good evening, everybody. This is Steve Fletcher with The Trumpet for My People. Today is March 28th, 2022. This is part five of our Rapture Watch that we are looking at for this weekend between April 1st and April 3rd, connected to Nisan 1, the new year on the Hebrew calendar. This update has to do with solar flares and incoming CMEs that are heading to Earth starting on March 31st. There has been a number of uh, solar flares that have taken place over the last 24 hours. And there are C-class flares and there are also a number of M-class flares that have headed, that are heading towards Earth. Okay, I'm gonna share a video uh, with you about this and I also want to uh, before I share that video I want to look into these numbers in the Strong's Concordance because there's very interesting information based on 2975 okay a lot of things just happened all at once sunspot AR 2975 erupted on March 28th producing a major M4 class solar flare. The blast propelled a solar tsunami through the sun's atmosphere. You can see it rippling away from the blast site in this movie from the Solar Dynamics Observatory. Okay, signs in the sun, in the moon, and in the stars. Okay, so 2975, if we look this up in the Strong's Concordance, 2975 is to obtain by lot. I obtain by lot, my lot, or I draw lots, okay? And very interesting because the whole story of Purim that we were watching from March 16th through March 18th, Purim is the story of them casting lots, okay? That's why they call it Purim lots. It's the, they, uh, through the dice to decide on the date that was going to be chosen as the day of the destruction of of the Jews okay and we were talking about this whole situation with lots okay 2975 is to draw lots or to obtain by lot 2976 very interesting that this is connected to Lazarus, the raising of Lazarus, the first, uh, the first resurrection, the resurrection of the dead in Christ. Lazarus, very interesting. Twenty nine seventy seven is secretly or privately, also very interesting especially when it says here in Matthew 2 7 Herod secretly called the Magi and uh, we are waiting for our deliverance that the Lord will come for those who are his and will he take us away secretly 2978 a sudden storm, a squall, a whirlwind, or a hurricane. A sudden storm. Okay? When they say peace and safety, sudden destruction. Okay, a sudden storm. Very okay, so I'm going to share a video now with you and uh, about the incoming solar flares that are expected to hit starting on Thursday, March 31st. Good evening, folks. The sun threw a bit of a tantrum today. The northern active region of sunspots we've been monitoring for days has produced several M-class solar flares, and it's showing little signs of stopping here as night falls in the United States. In 131 angstroms, we see the X-ray flare events coming from the northern complex of umbral magnetic fields connecting the sunspots. In 193 angstroms, we see the coronal plasma and the ejection that occurred with the first and one of the subsequent eruptions. Right now, Earth is taking two kinds of low-level radiation bombardment. 
The X-ray solar flares are exciting the ionosphere, extending out from the solar noon position. And the flares excited the interplanetary magnetic fields connecting Earth and Sun, driving a high-energy proton radiation storm at the poles. Luckily, it is low level, won't go higher unless bigger eruptions occur, striking that same magnetic connection between the Earth and Sun. The coronal mass ejection off the first flare came out as expected as a halo CME on coronagraphs, with stereo A showing little doubt as to the Earth-directed trajectory of the plasma cloud. The enlil spiral from NASA was updated quickly this morning to show that eruption and impact, both NASA and NOAA forecasting impact on March 31st, Thursday. The satellites are updating now to show the second eruption is a halo cloud as well, with stereo A confirming we've got two on the way. A double impact scenario is always something to watch for. Luckily, these are two relatively mid-sized solar events. Even if they were to hit in perfect succession to amplify their effects, there's unlikely to be more than minor electrical issues, if at all. The most obvious effect will be auroral enhancement. The caveat is that the sunspots are still active and pounding out these flares. We'll update tomorrow. Be safe, everyone.